Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here is another gymnastics class from myself, Joshua Ball. Today, we're going to do a nice pulse raiser, a big stretch. We're going to work on our bridges. I'm going to show you some progressions for your bridges. And we're also going to work on our forwards rolls, okay? The way that I'm going to demonstrate this session is there will be a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced option for all you guys watching. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone for all their responses on Facebook. I'm getting quite a few subscribers on YouTube as well, so thank you very much. Everybody that's watching on Facebook, if you guys head over to my YouTube channel, I'm trying to make that grow. So if you could head over to there, show some love to the page, I'd much appreciate it. I'm going to start the gymnastics warm-up in two minutes, just to give time for people to join in. I know that I messed up the live on YouTube, 11 people. Let me know where you're from in the comments, because there's been a lot of people. Can Hello, Evie. Can you post this to the Facebook group that you set the event on, will it go on that automatically? What? The event. Yeah. Your live video will go on that automatically. Uh, I don't know. It's on my Facebook page. So. Evie and Arso are ready to go. We'll start. You're going to start in two minutes. Give time for everyone to get on. Everyone that couldn't find it, anyone that's still looking for it. Anybody that's new, a bit of background information on me. My name's Josh. I've been a gymnastics coach for nearly over 10 years. And since all this, this virus has came about, I thought that I'd start doing it live stream for you guys. I hope you enjoy my class. Do as best as you can. Yeah, Lexi Age from Birmingham. We reached Birmingham. Hello, Lexi. So people are going to give it one more minute, then we're going to get started. Because I know a few people will be trying to set up to their TVs or their iPads or anywhere. We've got, hi, Kerry. Hi, Lucy. I've got Hannah with me today. She can introduce herself. Hi, I'm Hannah. <laughs> Ruby from LB Performers. Hi, Ruby. Megan from Gorefield. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, give it 30 more seconds, then we're going to start. I was panicking earlier because it was raining outside, so if it starts to rain, I've cleared my dining room of my house. So if it starts to rain, we're going to move into there. But hopefully, George and Beth from Birmingham, hey. Who else we got? Amelia from Northamptonshire. Amelia Faith, hello. <laughs> got quite a few people. Alex Solonenko, hello, hello, hello. Sutton and Coalfield, is that Bridie Childs from Sutton and Coalfield? Hey, how you doing? You okay? Ria and Nav. All right, let's get, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Are we all ready, guys? Let's get going. Let's start doing some gymnastics. Like I said, if it starts to rain, we're going to head into my dining room, but hopefully we'll be clear. The class is going to be about half an hour, 40 minutes. I'm going to go through loads of gymnastics stuff with you, get you guys active. Okay, are we all ready? Who else we got? Hetty, hello Hetty, Ria, Ria and Nye. I really can't read. <laughs> Evelyn and Hetty, hello, hello, hello. How are we all? Let's get going. Right, let's go, let's go. We'd normally start a gymnastics session. Everybody standing, feet together, arms by your side, shoulders back, nice and tall. If you were ever taught by me, I'd always make you go present and then start running on the spot. And I tell Hannah off for not presenting. <laughs> so running on the spot. Running, 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 running. Okay. When I clap my hands, I want you to run as fast as you can. Three, two, one, go. As fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're doing just little jumps. Using our toes, just little, little jumps. Using our ankles, using our toes. Jumping up nice and tall. You can't even put your arms up in the air if you don't hit the ceiling. Okay, I'm running again. Now lift your knees up as high as you can. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Try to get your knees to your chest. Okay, now I'm going to touch the ground. Jump up tall. Ten times. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and just a light little job. Shake your wrists, shake your neck. Good, 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 good. Okay, and then just kicking your bums. Trying to kick your feet onto your bums. 
Okay. And then we're going to go chest to the floor, standing back up five times as fast as you can. Down, turn. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And shake it off. Have a little breather. You've got 30 seconds. Little breather. Keep shaking it off. Okay, and then standing still. So have our feet shoulder width apart, arms out to the side, and we're going to do little circles, forwards with our arms. And then we're going to get bigger, bigger and bigger. And circle those arms backwards, big circles backwards. Big circles. Okay, and then make them circles smaller and smaller and smaller. So you draw in tiny little circles. Good. Okay, then swing side to side. Stretch your back out. Parents, you guys can get involved. I'm six foot four, and I can still do gymnastics. So you guys have got no excuse. Okay, now I'm going to lean over. Both sides. Make From here, one hand comes across, one hand leans over. Keep your chest up nice and tall. I don't want to see this. Not yet. We want to be nice and tall. Think you're a soldier. So you've got nice upright shoulders. Lovely. Okay, now put your feet a little bit further apart. Arms up nice and tall. Stretch to the ceiling. We're going to go to position one. Position two. Three in front. Four in between our legs and five through our legs. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We want nice straight legs. Don't bend your legs. Number one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Speed it up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, shake your legs. Shake your legs, shake your legs. Take one layer off. I told you to start warming up. Is everybody warm? Everybody getting ready to do some forwards rolls, bridges? Okay, now we're going to go to that position two. Right, we're going to put our arms out nicely to the side. And then I want you to swing. Keep your legs nice and straight. Opposite hand to the opposite foot. Keep those arms nice and straight. Try and keep your back nice and flat. You should feel it stretch your hamstrings. Good. Lovely. Okay, then we're going to lunge. So just bending one leg over to the right. Chest up nice and tall. And lean over to the right like Spider-Man. Let's see all those photos of everybody in the Spider-Man pose. Lovely. And then you're going to go to the other side like Spider-Woman. Straight, keep this leg nice and straight. You should be stretching your hamstring here. Okay, chest up nice and tall. You don't want to be all the way down like this. In Spider-Man or Spider-Woman. You're looking out for some danger. <laughs> okay, then the other side again. Good. And back to the Spider-Woman. Lovely. Then we're going to go five times. To the left, try and do it without your arms. Three. Do a bit of a dance, do a dab. <laughs> Stretch those legs. Lovely. Okay, and then standing together. Legs nice and straight. Standing like our gymnasts. Gymnasts stand like soldiers, so we're ready. We're ready to work. Arms up nice and tall for me. And now you're going to go five times. Reach towards your toes. Keep your legs nice and straight. Two. Three. Four. Five, and then hold down at the bottom. Make sure you feel your legs stretching. It's supposed to hurt, it shouldn't feel comfortable. Go over there. Okay, now we're gonna squat down. I want you to bounce three times. So go one, two, three, stretch up tall, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Back down, one, two, three, stretch tall. Hold, five, four, three, two, 
One last time. One, two, three. Stretch up nice and tall. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. And now sitting in a nice straddle position. Ooh, quick lesson on your shapes. Straddle. Pike. Tuck. And then my favorite, a uh, half nine after coaching. Star. <laughs> right, go say tuck shape. Lovely. Now we're going to go to our straddle shape. Let's have our legs here nice and tense. So your heels are coming slightly off the floor. And then we're going to go arms up nice and tall. And we're going to reach forward slowly, as far forwards as you can. Try and keep your arms by your ears all the time. Who goes further, me or Hannah? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Lovely. And then back up tall. Now we're going to go over to our right leg. Grab our right foot. If you can, try and get your nose down onto your knee. So reaching down. Lovely. See? And then we're going to go over to our left. Reach on to our left. I don't know why you're not straight. Okay, I was back up nice and tall. What we're going to do now, we're going to go five times forwards. One, two, don't let your hands hit the floor. Three, four, five. And then we're going to go five to our right leg. One, two, Three, four, five, and then to our left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then feet together. Give your legs a good shake. Shake, 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 shake. Arms up nice and tall. Point those toes, tense them legs. And we're going to go five times to our toes. One, two, three. Four, five, and then grab your feet and hold. You want your legs flat on the floor, look. We don't want this, okay? We want straight legs, even if you can only go to here. Just stretch so you can feel that stretch all in the back of your legs, okay? Try and grab your feet if you can. If you can, again, try and get your nose onto your knees. <laughs> now reach forward. Okay, uh, back up nice and tall. We're going to hold 10 seconds as far as you can. Forwards, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then swing onto your stomach for me, guys. And lift up nice and tall. We're going to spend extra long stretching our back because we're going to be doing some bridges. I'm glad that I've got Hannah. Because I can teach a bridge, but mine isn't perfect. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to push our bums up nice and tall. Stretch our arms forwards. Imagine you're a cat, you've just woke up. Now you're going, ah. push your shoulders into the floor. Lovely. Why we say lovely? Lovely. Lovely. Okay, and then back forwards. What we need to do now, your toes at the back. Try and get them to touch your head. So you're pushing your hips down into the floor, your head goes backwards, and you're trying to touch your toes. Oh, we're close. <laughs> and lean back once more. Push your armpits into the floor, and lean back. Feel those shoulders stretching out. Lovely. That's what I like to see. Okay, and then just sit now, it's to stretch out your wrists. Put your wrists down on the floor, face them towards your knees, lean backwards, work on the flexibility in our wrists. Okay, walk your, walk your hands around, feel your wrists stretch, lean left and right. We want your wrists to be nice and warmed up. Okay, we don't want to see any of you guys injured. Okay, keep walking around, stretch those wrists out. Huh? <laughs> you really <laughs> okay, then we're going to go. I want to see 10 press ups. We're just going to get our muscles activated. So we're ready to do some, some roly polies, some bridges, stretching our muscles. So press up position 10 times, all the way down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. If you struggle with your press ups, go to this position and then drop down to your knees, cross your legs, and then press them ten times. Okay. Next exercise, I want you to sit, tuck shape. We're going to lift our feet up off the floor. You're going to let go of your knees, arms above your head. I want you to stretch your legs out as far as you can and then slowly come back and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Corinna's watching. Wrists to shake. Hey, Corinna. <laughs> stretch out, stretch your neck, stretch out everything that you need. Give yourself just 30 seconds rest. I'm going to look at some of these comments and then we're going to start on our bridges. What we got? Here we go. Corinna from Leicester. Hey, Corinna. Have you, Corinna? Joe Picks. It is my Corinna. We've got someone from a pre development squad. How do you say that name? L. Isla. That one. Eloise. Eloise. Hey, Eloise. George and Beth from Birmingham. Hello, hello, hello. Got quite a few Facebook. Lovely. Right, let's get to going. We're going to stretch out our bridge. I'm going to show you, if you can't quite get into your bridge, what you do. If you can get into your bridge, I'm going to show you what you can do. Okay? And if you're like Eloise from the pre-development squad, she's really missing gymnastics. If you've done gymnastics before, then Hannah's going to show you what you guys can do. It's called a tick over. Okay? First one. All I want us all to do is stretch out our bridge. Okay? So you're going to sit down, lie down on your back. You're going to tuck your feet in, into your knee, your bum. Don't go all the way in, because it's going to make it harder for yourself. Feet about shoulder width apart to start with. Lie back. You're going to put your hands by your head. Your fingers facing your shoulders. Fingers facing your shoulders. So this way. And then you're going to go from this position. I want you to push up nice and tall and stretch. Stretch. Okay, and it's going to stay there and stretch. If you can't quite get up like this, okay, if you can't quite get up to a bridge shape with your arms straight, what I want you to do is 10, 15 times, just try to push up from there, okay? Everybody can do this as well. If it's hurting to hold that for too long, I want you to go this position, go up, back down, okay? 10, 15 times. Okay, I'm going to hold it for 20 seconds. You guys join along if my t-shirt ever stay tucked in. Are we ready? So we're going to hold a bridge. 20 seconds. Are we ready? 3, 2, 1, up. 20, 19, 18. If you can, feet together. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, relax, 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 relax. Stretch your wrists off, go into a tuck shape, rock forwards and backwards. Ooh. Okay. You guys keep trying that. Do a bridge, go for a bridge again. Hannah's gonna do another one. What I want you to do if to make it a little bit harder for yourself, if you can go up into a bridge like Hannah. So if you can push nice and tall, you can get your arms nice and straight, you can get your legs together. I want you to do alternate legs. So you're going to lift one leg up, then you're going to lift the other leg up. Okay? You're going to keep keep lifting, keep lifting. Try and keep a nice point in your toes. Okay? Another one for you. If your feet, both feet are on the floor, and you can get... So you see how here, she's got her arms nice and straight. Hannah needs to push her shoulders over the top of her hands. So she's going to push her shoulders near my finger, look. And she's going to rock forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Okay, this is going to be a massive help for you guys. And your backwards walkovers, your forwards walkovers. Okay, just to stretch your back. Hello, Zara from Stoke-on-Trent. She's loving it. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Matilda and Amelia are working out. Lovely. They were on my Tuesday class. I like it. I like it. Okay. Another one for you to try. I'm going to have to get Hannah to do this one. Okay, because I'm 
I'm getting old. <laughs> you. A different way to get up into your bridge, okay? So you're going to lie down on your back. You're going to do that one hand. Okay, so this time, it, remember, if you can't quite get up into your bridge, I want you to still be doing it now. Still pushing up, pushing down, like Hannah's doing now. Pushing up, pushing down, pushing up, pushing down, okay? Just for that strength in your shoulder, for all that flexibility in your shoulder, okay? What Hannah's going to do now is she's going to use one hand and she's going to turn, okay? So you see here, look, her hand's facing away from her. She's going to lift this hand up backwards and she's going to turn over into a bridge. Let's see it. So she turns around into a bridge and then she... Okay. Let's get working. Let's do those for about five minutes. I'm going to do them. Anyone that, anyone that was taught by me knows that my, my next goal was to do a backwards walkover. So this is why... This session is for bridges, because whilst I'm at home, I am going to do a backwards walkover. Okay, let's get stretching. So, let's hold it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ooh, nice and tall. Oh, try and swap those legs if you can. Four. And then remember, every time you do a bridge, one back forwards, rock forwards and backwards. If your back's hurting, just give yourself a little rest. One last time, you know, hold a bridge. This time, 15 seconds. So, hands back. Three, two, one. Push up nice and tall. 50, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and relax, relax, relax. Front forwards and backwards, stretch your back again. Ooh. Okay, one more exercise for you guys. If you're in your house and you've got a wall, so I've got a fence just here, okay? I want you to see if you can walk down the wall, okay? If not, while we're doing this exercise, you guys that don't have a wall, I want you to be pushing up from a bridge. I want you to be swapping legs from a bridge. I want you to be bridge rocking. Okay, Hannah's gonna show us walking down the fence in a bridge. I'll do it actually. I'll do it. Wait, let me, huh? let me turn this one around. So from this, you wanna be about, about you far away from the wall? Okay, facing forwards, put one hand onto the wall like this. You're going to reach your other hand backwards, and I want you to walk down the wall as far as you can. Try and get your hand to the floor. And then from here, push towards the wall. Okay? And then if you can, walk back up the wall. So okay. if there's two, then one person can hold it. Let's quite press that. Yeah. Well, if, if you're with a partner, or you're with your brother and sister, or your parents are in the room, parents, you can help your kids do gymnastics, okay? If they're against the wall like this, I want you to hold on to their waists there. They're gonna lean back, put their hands onto the wall. You can just hold them for support. They're gonna go down to a bridge and then pull them forwards as they're coming back up, okay? That goes for any of you guys that are a bit more advanced as well. Get rid of the wall, do it without the wall. Okay, so stand in here. You're gonna have your arms up nice and tall. Have your partner hold your waist and then they're gonna go back bend. You want their hips to come towards my hips, okay? So she's gonna go back, leaning back, there. And then you're gonna rock forwards and backwards, two, three, four, five, and then if you can, lift them back forwards, okay? Do you guys wanna see me try that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you wanna see me try that. You guys keep practicing it, but any of you that are on the chat, if I have more than three, four people say, yeah, I want you to try that, I will try it. I do loads of flips, not back bends. I'm going to backflip. This is ace, but her mum is rubbish at it. <laughs> Alana from Stoke on Trent. You just got to keep practicing, Alana's mum. Practice, practice, practice. Try it. So that's someone said try it, I guess I'll have to. <laughs> you need to try and hold you? Yeah, we need to hold me. So remember, if you've got a partner, even if you can do this on your own, try it on your own. Put yourself, I've got my nice gymnastics mat that cost me a fortune, okay? 
But you guys, put some cushions down from your sofa. Don't let your parents see, because they might tell you off. I know that mine would. Put some cushions down, maybe even your pillows from your bedroom. Okay, these are the times where we just have to be a bit creative. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try this. Yeah, Arms up nice yeah. and tall. You're going to go from here. <laughs> lean, lean backwards. You don't hold me that much. I'm not that bad. <laughs> backwards. Up. Up. Oh. Rock one. Up. Two, yeah. Three. Four. Five, this one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep trying it. Keep trying it. If you don't, if you can't do that one, go back to doing your bridges on the floor, pushing up, pushing down. Okay, rocks forwards and backwards, left and right, left and right. Okay, you guys that are more advanced or if you've got a bit more space, why not do a TikTok? Okay, just be careful you've not got any lights hanging down from the ceiling or you're not too close for anything or your ceiling. Do the do the um what was it called? Do the ceiling test. So if you can put your arms up like this and you can touch the ceiling, okay. And don't do a flip, okay? But if you can put your hands up and you don't touch the ceiling, what I want you guys to try, we're gonna. There's two things that you can try, okay? Go to a bridge for me, Hannah. So number one that you can try is when you're going up into your bridge. Before how we were lifting our legs up and down, okay? So how before when we were doing this, so push up. When we were doing this and we're lifting our legs up, down, up. Down. Now I want you to see, goods forwards, backwards, okay? Then see if you can lift up one leg and then still keep your balance and rock forwards and backwards, okay? You guys that are trying to do a backwards walkover right now, if before when you were in the gym, that was your main goal was to do a backwards walkover and you were struggling, struggling, struggling and struggling, it's because just here, you need your shoulders to come in line with your hands there, okay? So if you can rock like that, I want you to see if you can try and jump off your other leg and kick over, okay? We'll let Hannah have a little rest and then she'll show you one, okay? And I'll give it a go. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, yeah. So do a TikTok. So kick over for me. Just yeah. So your first goal if you're trying to do a backwards walkover and you can already do the pushing up to bridge and you can already lift your legs and you can already rock is you're gonna lift a kick. Nearly, nearly, nearly. See what I mean? But Hannah can do it, but you've got to practice. You've got to practice, 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 practice. There we go. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Try again. Push your shoulders to the to the garden. There you go. And over. Good. Tip for you when you're trying to kick over, keep that kick going. Okay? I'm going to give it a go. And if I do this, if Tasha and Ian are watching, if I do a backwards walkover right now, you guys owe me a fiver. <laughs> So if you can go from a bridge, parents that are watching as well, if you've got a mobile device handy, can you all take a photo of your children because it's brilliant seeing that me doing this in my back garden and it has actually got kids up off the sofa, it's got them off their iPads, it's got them off their PlayStation, and it's just good to see that I've got kids all around the world, Birmingham, Stoke-on-Trent, getting up, trying out some gymnastics because it's what they love and it's what they're missing at the minute, okay? We'll be back, don't worry. But for now, this is what we've got, okay? So, go into that bridge shape. If you can't quite get to a nice straight bridge shape, remember you're just going one, two. If you can, you're gonna go up, shape, forwards, backwards. If you can, lift one leg, okay? Here we go. I reckon I'm actually gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier, that was harder. Huh? Starting on one leg is hard. Oh. Okay, are you ready? From here, rocking. Going. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep practicing just because you don't do it the first time. Do it again and again and again and again and again. Okay? Come on then. Okay. Move your feet in closer to your hands. That way. Try it without rocking. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Two, three. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was close. Okay. That is not my speciality. But you like little guys that are doing it. I started gymnastics quite late, so I started when I was 14, 15. Okay. My flexibility, although it's got better, it's not the best. Okay. My main speciality is doing this. Let's go. 
Boom. Okay? Keep practicing those bridges. I'm going to just have a little rest. Hannah's going to carry on doing bridges. She doesn't need a rest. She's been trained by me since... How old were you when you first came to me? When did we first meet? Well, how old was I? I was at least 28. So Hannah was 20. I would have been 19 when I started teaching Hannah. So she should be good because I've been teaching her for quite a while. A while. Okay, a while. <laughs> Go on, let's see it back. Let's see it. So pushing up into our nice bridge. Rocks forwards and backwards. Nice. There we go. See? You will be surprised, guys. You keep practicing and practicing and practicing. You'll be surprised. That first time that you kick over, okay, you might try again the second time and you won't do it, okay? But the, if you do it two, you do it three times, you'll start to see that. See that? See? She's done it once. She's understood it. So she can keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, give us one more, Hannah. <laughs> there was a wasp. Okay, last one on these bridges. Then we're going to talk you through forwards rolls. There we go. The one problem that she had then was she had bent legs. Okay, point those toes, try and keep those legs nice and straight. Okay, right, moving forwards. If you need a drink, go and grab yourself a drink. Okay, stretch your wrists out. We're done with our bridges for now. Okay, the next one we're going to do is forwards rolls. Okay, again, please do your ceiling test. So if your arms are up and you can touch the roof, I recommend not doing a handstand or anything like that. Okay, but I'm going to show you the option to include a forwards roll into a handstand. I'm going to show you how to do a forwards roll properly and correct. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to it. A little rest. If you're still stretching the bridge, keep stretching. Tash says no five today. No five today. Oh. Give me a next week. Next week, I'll be able to do it. I felt good about it today. I did. I felt good about it. Who else was watching? Kim from Stoke on Trent. Hello, hello, hello. We've got our pre squad at Phoenix Wood. Mia. I know Phoenix Wood. Hello. Anyone else from Phoenix Wood? <laughs> Who else we got? Go, go, go. Kim, 11 from Stoke on Trent. Hello. Got a photo of Eleanor. We'll put it on Facebook. Thank you very much. Hello, Libby in Mansfield. There's your shout out for you. I like it. You guys that are on Facebook, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do me a favor. Okay, my subscribers have gone up quite a lot, but I need more. You see, the camera quality on YouTube isn't quite as good as the camera quality on Facebook. Okay, that's because you need a thousand subscribers to use your phone to stream on Facebook. Okay, YouTube. and YouTube is where it's at. Okay, right, are we all ready? Forwards rolls. With the forwards rolls, your hands are only going to touch the floor once, okay? If you touch the floor twice with your forwards roll and you went into like any sort of competition or if I was judging you, I've judged all around the country gymnastics classes, gymnastics competitions. If you put your hands down twice, you're going to lose marks, okay? It's not correct. It should just be once, okay? Hello, Izzy from Stoke on Trent. <laughs> okay? What we're going to do, every single time you start your forwards roll, Arms by your side. Imagine you're in front of 10,000 people, okay? If you start a forward roll correctly, the likelihood of it finishing correctly is good. So if you're going into your forward roll and you're all like, yeah, I'm just gonna do a forwards roll, yeah, yeah, okay? You're not gonna learn that way, okay? We are gonna go, arms up nice and tall, feet together. Your first step is I want you to squat down, put your hands on the floor. Okay, from this position, you want your chin to stay on your chest, okay? At no point during a forwards roll should the back of your head hit the floor, okay? So your main objective is to push through your legs, okay? Get your hips over the top of your head and land on your upper, upper bit of your back, okay? All I want you to do first, from this position, hands on the floor, chin on your chest, Stretch up your legs, and then you're going to do a little jump over onto your mat. Finish with your arms in front. Okay? Do it. Let's do it five times. So, starting position, arms up, squat down, chin on your chest, push your hips over your head, and straighten your legs. Me and Hannah are going to do it in sync. Three, two, one, push over, arms in front. Love that. And again, five times. That's two. Let's speed it up. 
One, two, chin down, push, over. Good. And again. <laughs> Arms up, squat down, chin on your chest, push, land. Okay. Last one, one more. From here, arms down, squat, push, over. I stood up that time, they didn't expect that. <laughs> okay. The next one that I want you guys to do, when you're doing your forwards roll, the reason I get you to land in a tuck shape with your arms in front is because I see, I'd say 90% of children, okay, they put their hands down twice in a forwards roll, okay? I'm gonna do a forwards roll where I put twice my hands down twice, and I'm gonna do a forwards roll where I put my hands down once, and you guys can see the difference, okay? So from here, arms are up, squatting down. Everybody will know, 90% of children will go push over, and then their hands will come back this way to help them up. No, that's not what we're doing, okay? What we're trying to do, if everybody goes into a tuck shape on their floor, tuck shape, tuck your legs up nice and tall. If, as you come out your forwards roll, your legs are like this, put your arms out in front, try and stand up from there. Without bending your legs. Yeah? We can't, okay? Bend your legs up. What I want you to do, we're gonna rock three times, and then we're gonna try and stand up without using our hands. So arms up, right, we'll put our arms here. We go backwards, one. Go right back. Two. On this third one, we're reaching forwards, trying to stand up. There. Okay? Let's try it again. So down, one. Two, and then our third one, reach forwards and stand up. Lovely. One more time. Just do, let's try it from just one rock. Okay, so from this position, arms up. That's it, one rock. One rock, all the way back, and forwards, stand up. Okay? Now, let's do the actual forwards roll. Remember, one hand, one hand on the floor, not one hand. Your hands on the floor once, okay? So, starting nice together. Everybody get ready. We'll all do this together, okay? I wanna see videos. If you guys can take a video of yourself trying this forwards roll, I wanna see it, okay? So, arms up nice and tall, okay? Let's go. So we're gonna bend down, squat position, head, well, our chin on our chest. We're gonna try and push our hips over, our hands have touched the floor once, so they're not going to touch the floor again. Okay, we're going to push over. As we're coming over, reach forwards, stand up. Okay, I went out of the shot. Facebook. Okay, try again. So, arms in front, squat down, reach head down, jump over your head, reach forward, stand up. Okay, let's keep trying it. Try it five times. Here, down, push, stand. Good, again. Arms up, down, forwards, reach forwards. Okay? If parents, if you're watching your children and they go forwards roll and then their hands are coming back here, okay? Tell them not to. Okay? The way you guys can help them is if you're a parent or if you're a brother or you're a sister and you're working together, as you come from your forwards roll, have your hands ready for them. Okay? So, you're gonna go from here, you can go forwards roll, try and grab their hands. So from this position, forwards roll, grab their hands, pull them up. Okay, let's have a try it. Keep trying it, you gotta keep practicing, 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 practicing. So forwards roll, get my hands ready, she's gonna reach my hands and stand up. Okay, one more time. One more time. Oh there, forward, grab my hands, stand up. Okay. So for you beginner guys, like I said at the start, a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced, okay? I wanna show you one other exercise as well, if you've got a wall, okay? If you've, everybody's got a fence, okay? Just please be careful. Don't hurt yourself while you're on the fence, okay? Your next one, so an intermediate forwards roll, for me, personally, what I would say is an intermediate forwards roll, okay? Is doing a little kick into it, okay? Or either a little kick, or a jump, okay? Two intermediate exercises for a forwards roll, okay? You've got, instead of reaching down and putting your hands on the floor for the squat, you can go from this position, 
I want you to reach forwards instead of squatting down. So as you're here, you can try and reach forwards. As you're here, jump and roll. Stand up. Okay? So from this position, this is intermediate one. From here, reach forwards, bend your legs, try and reach and jump forwards. Let's make it longer than a normal forwards roll. So from here, reach forwards, jump, roll, stand up. Okay? Keep trying it, keep trying it. Hannah will give it a go. I'll do some shout outs if anybody's about. Evie, Mia and Oliver from Bedford are really enjoying this. Hello, Evie, Mia and Oliver. Is it Oliver? It is Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. Huh. Love it. Show the shows again then, Hannah. Show us intermediate one. So it's a longer forwards roll and we're not putting our hands into, we're not missing out that squat shape. So we're there, reaching forwards, stand straight up. Okay? Your next one, okay, is almost, it's almost working towards a handstand forwards roll. Okay? This one, you can practice this one even if you're ceiling test. If you touch the roof, okay, you can practice this one because it's not actually the full handstand. Okay? We're going to try from here. Exactly the same start position. You always start your forwards roll the same. Okay? Unless you're doing it from a big room. But even so, if you're running, you're always going to be boom, there. Okay? What I want you to do, feet together. This time, you're going to go arms in front. Take a step forwards. Okay? And then as you're going towards the forward, towards a hand, imagine this is your handstand shape. As you go towards a handstand shape, tuck that chin on your chest and try and roll, okay? I know that a lot of my friends are watching this, so I wanna see a video from my friends of them trying this, okay? If you've not seen on my YouTube channel yet, I taught my friend Alex Solonenko a handstand over YouTube live stream. Go and check it out after this. It was quite funny, Alex, there was a great celebration in it. <laughs> so from here, reach forwards again. So we go from here, reach forwards, and then we're gonna jump our leg up, tuck and roll, okay? Give it a go. I don't think you can quite see on Facebook. Let's move you around this way. Let's move you there, Facebooky. There we go. I like it. Huh? Oh, tripod's going to fall over. There we go, there we go. There we go. So, reaching forwards, almost kicking into that handstand there. Kick and roll, okay? Intermediate two, okay? The one that I did with intermediate one was a jump forwards, okay? So, I'm not liking where this Facebook is. <laughs> I'm not liking it, to be honest with you guys. Where My, my, my setup for Facebook live stream... Why do you move this back and then that can go in front? Huh? Move this back then. No, that's fine. Right. Leave it like that. Okay. I've done it for 40 minutes, so there's no point in changing it up now. <laughs> so from here, intermediate one that you guys can try at home. Obviously, after this stream, after you finish with me, you guys can carry on practicing this all afternoon. Okay? Do If you're always on your PlayStation, half an hour PlayStation, gymnastics. Half an hour PlayStation, gymnastics. Dinner, gymnastics. Okay? So from here, intermediate one is arms in front reaching forwards and making a nice big jump. So from there, big jump forwards. Okay. Can I do Facebook in your... Try it, see it. let's see it again, Hannah. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh. Facebook told me off for live streaming in landscape. Sorry, your Facebook. If you're on Facebook and you want a better picture, a wider picture, Okay, if I keep walking in and I keep walking out of the live stream, all, I'm always on the screen on YouTube, okay, because I'm using my laptop, okay, so it's a lot wider. Also, I want you on my, I want me on my YouTube. <laughs> okay, so intermediate one is from here, reaching forwards and jumping and lifting up, okay? Intermediate two, okay, is that little kick just before you do it. Okay. Hannah can do it that way, I'll do it this way. So it's just from here, step, reaching towards the ground, kick, roll, and lift it up. Okay, keep trying it. Try it a couple of times before I show you our next one. Okay. All right, actually, I want to show you one more activity, one more exercise for your forwards roll. Okay. 
you always want to be thinking when you're training. So if you're training a forwards roll, if you're training a backwards roll, if you're training any skill, I want you to always think. It doesn't matter how basic that skill is, okay? It's always working towards something different. So you're stretching out your bridge. You're not just stretching because bridge is a good stretch. You're stretching out because it helps with your backwards walkovers. It helps out with your forwards walkovers. It helps out with backwards handsprings, double backwards handsprings, triple backwards handsprings, okay? Let's see. This exercise, so if you've got a wall, is great. So if you're almost like, if you can do intermediate one and you can do intermediate two, okay, our advanced one is a hand, is a full handstand forwards roll. Ceiling test, always remember, if you can touch the ceiling, don't do this one, okay? But if you can, this is your advanced, which is, if you were with me yesterday, not yesterday, when did we do it last? If you were with me Friday, Friday, then we did handstands, okay? This is quite difficult, okay? It's If you've never done it before, it's a little bit dangerous, so don't do it. If you, one, you can touch your ceiling, and two, if you can't do intermediate one and intermediate two, okay? Handstand with straight arms. You've got a handstand. So advance is trying handstand, chin in, forward drop, stand up, okay? So from there, handstand, chin in, forward drop, stand up, okay? If you're scared or you're struggling with that one, I want you to grab yourself a wall, okay? I say a wall, I've got a fence. Okay, you can go. How we did the handstands on Friday, walking up against our wall. Okay, who's the Facebook one down so we can see? Okay, you can use this wall like we did for your handstand falls roll. So you can go from this position, show us that press up position on the fence on the wall, took your chin in, and then you're going to try and push off the wall. So from there, push. Roll. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if I broke the fence. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do that one again because that might break my fence. Okay, let's recap. Intermediate one, okay, is your lunge forwards. Okay, you move your, move your camera around. Basically one. Intermediate one, from here, reaching forwards, it's almost a dive. Roll, stand up. Okay, intermediate two is your little kick. So from here, reaching forwards, Kick, roll, okay? And then your advanced one is a full handstand forwards roll, okay? Which is handstand, chin in, forwards roll, stand, okay? That's what I like to see. So, we have covered. So you guys keep practicing this, okay? Even when I'm gone, you guys can go onto my YouTube, you can click back onto the Facebook page, you can rewatch this whole entire class. Okay, we have stretched our bridges. Okay, I've showed you how to do your bridges correctly. We have stretched our bridge rocks. We have done leg lifts. We have done, well, I haven't done, Hannah did. Okay, a, a kick over. Okay, you can practice all of those. And then we moved on to forwards roll. So with your forwards rolls, you've had standard forward roll. Okay, say that tip to me. Okay, I can't hear you, but. Your parents will tell me if you say it. Only put your hands on the floor. How many times, Hannah? One time. One time. Let's see it. So just the standard forwards roll was your first one that we learned. Head under, reaching forwards, hands on the floor once. Okay? Our second one that we learned was... Uh, intermediate one. Intermediate one. Okay, which was it. It's almost like a dive roll. Okay, let's see that one. Reaching forwards, kicking, standing up. Intermediate two was the next one that we learned. That was lifting your leg up as if you were going up to a handstand, but before you get to that handstand, tuck your head in, round your back, and try and do a forwards roll how you did in the first one, like this. So kick your leg, reach forwards, and stand up, okay? Then we had advanced, which was a handstand forwards roll, okay? Now you've not seen how to do that one yet, so let's watch how to do a handstand forwards roll. Handstand, chin in, forwards, and stand up. Okay, so how many exercises was that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Nine. I've done thousands of exercises with you guys. This is my longest live stream yet. Okay, that's it. Yes. A little stretch. We were going to do the cha cha slide in the event, so I put on, we were going to do the cha cha slide, copyright. but it's copyright on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, so I don't want to be doing putting all my work into doing this and then get done on copyright. 
Okay. I'm going to spend two more minutes. Okay. Two more minutes working on our handstand. And then if this you put in the comments around. what you'd like to see next, then we can yeah. do the next video for you guys. So, so this out. What a treat. I'm going to go through and then we're going to finish. It's just to recap for you guys. Now I want you to keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. In the next one, if you guys follow me, I want to see it. I want to see videos. I want to see Facebook photos. Okay, I'm going to put like a nice little montage together. So, normal handstand, uh, normal forwards roll from here. Always start correctly. Bend, chin on your chest, reach over, up, stand up. Okay? Next one, intermediate one. Was diving, reaching forwards. So, instead of your arms, you can start with your arms above your head, then bring them forwards, lean forwards, jump nice and long, and stand up. Okay? Intermediate two was your leg kick. Okay? So, from here, Reaching forwards, little kick, chin in, and roll. And last but not least, we had advanced one, which was a handstand forwards roll. Let's do it together. Three, two, one, kick it up to a handstand, chin in, and roll. Stand it up. Okay? Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Right, guys, thank you very, very much for joining me on Monday afternoon. I'm so glad that the sun came out because I was panicking earlier that it was going to rain. My entire dining room's completely clear. I got rid of the table, the chairs. And everybody's really happy about everyone's, it. <laughs> everyone's obviously really happy about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please show my YouTube some love. Please show my Facebook some love. Hit the like buttons on everything. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe over to my YouTube channel. Hannah's also got a dance page. So any of you that are dancers out there, head over to... Karen Leem's Dance Academy. Okay, that was our mum's mum's dance school. Now Hannah's taking it over. It's going to be the biggest dance school in Leicester. Like I'm going to be the biggest gymnastics club in Leicester when it takes over. And you guys are going to all be a part of it. Okay, thank you very very much for watching our next live stream. I've been quite, I've been, I've been quite. I'll do these when I want to do them. Okay, but our next live stream I'm going to be trying to do on Wednesday at two o'clock. Okay. And we're going to try and do every single week. Every single week, we're going to try and do a live stream on Monday, 2 o'clock, Wednesday, 2 o'clock, Friday, 2 o'clock. Okay? If you guys can let me know in the comments if there's too many people that, that 2 o'clock's too inconvenient for, then I will change the time. Okay? But let's face it, none of us have got anything to do. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just sat around. But again, please show some love to the Facebook page. Hit me up in those comments. I'm going to sit around now for... I I'm going to stay around for three or four minutes. Any questions that you guys have got, any shout outs that you want me to do, let me know. Keep practicing those handstands. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. See ya. <laughs>